What's going on, guys? Here this morning, it's Saturday. I spent some time last night hanging out with my wife, watching a movie. My daughter was at a, a football game. Another one spent that. Anyway, I had an opportunity to hang out with the wife, so I got didn't do a Friday night fight. Um, it's going to be Saturday morning rumble. I don't know. I'll, I'll put something in the title. That's fun, though. Anyhow, I'm here. I'm in the basement. It's 30 degrees outside, so I had to kind of come in the basement to do a little bit of uh, what I wanted to do. But uh, here's what I got going on. I'm going to see you take a look real quick. We've got a couple different cars we're going to do today. i got the Bronco, the Defender, and, of course, the SCX24. There was a comment asking to um, take some of the equipment off that SCX24 to see what it would do because of the tire and everything. But to be honest with you, this tire does not weigh much. Anyhow, uh, let's cut this out. Anyhow, I'm going to come over to here. I kind of got it set up. Uh, a little bit just to do the inclines and i tried to do a better job this time i stopped at the skateboard shop and i got some grip tape um we got a lot of skateboards at this house so i, I definitely know the skateboard shop guy pretty good but i got some grip tape and i put an angle on the bottom to keep it from sliding i got my angle finder so we're gonna know exactly which one is better on the incline all right guys real quick check i'm not sure if you can see it 40 on the dot We'll try to go up by a couple, one or two every time. We're going to go ahead and start with the uh, SCX2 full. You can see that front tire is lifting very little, but uh, no problem. She went up it. That's my fault. I hit the brakes on it. Um, so let's go ahead and try the other Bronco. I kind of got everything kind of sitting here ready to go. These tires have been used on here. I've been, uh, well, hopefully you guys have been watching, but I've been outside playing with this one for quite a little bit. A little bit of lifting that front tire um, going up, but uh, did pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and drift her down here. No problem on that. Oh, I love the brake lights. How cool. Okay. And now we're going to go with the... Uh, Defender, this is the first time I've used the Defender. Has not been used yet. If it falls off that back side, it will be a broken Defender. Um, kind of running out of... Sp oh, you can hear that. You guys hear that back hit? You can see it. Okay, guys, I'm a, I'm a little nervous. Let's see if this is a me. Problem, this is only a 40-degree incline. So this might be a real... This might be a real quick video... Um, that front tire is off. I don't know if you can see it. I'm going to zoom in on that. But that is not touching. Okay. You can see that weight. Uh, a lot of transfer on that back tire is kind of collapsed. And that front tire is in the air. Oh, gosh, yeah. Okay, we're going to go ahead and, uh, I'm not going to risk having this fall off the other side. 42, if everybody can see that. Yeah, it's about a 42.3, 42.2. I'm not going to get too technical with it, but Bronco, or uh, let's go ahead and grab the SCH24, which if I remember right, didn't really have too much of a problem. I love how this kind of sits a little higher. Almost lost it there at first. We're coming up. The little guy's in there looking all sweet. Zoom in on him. That's one thing you do have with this guy. He's got that cool looking uh, interior, which we do not have yet with the uh, tracks and stuff. Sorry, guys. This my, <laughs> I got the hot water tank right behind me. It's kind of uh, trying to make a studio type little workshop down here in the basement. So, hey, the Bronco SEX24 did it again. Not a problem. We're going to go with the TRX4M. And, again, I got that little hitch on the back, so it might hit. It did. And the front is lifting on that. As you can see, this is a stock transmission. I had the uh, high-speed one in there. I took it out just for this. Um, i got to adjust that drag brake, but... So it went up there, but it was not, uh, whoop, that was not perfect. 
And I'm not going to lie, I know everybody else is probably nervous about this too. I don't think our, I don't think the Defender is going to make it up there. And uh, I got a couple things I actually want to say about the Defender. Um, and I think some of it's, I mean, look at how much is hanging off the back after that back tire. There's a ton. Okay. All right. Well, we started it. Um, no, it's just about uh, not hitting that throttle too hard. And those back tires are digging in. I wonder if we had a little bit of a uh, better. There's, there's no foams in these TRX4Ns, just so everybody knows. But hey, um, we did it. That's good. Hey, we'll take that. Let's take it to about a 44 now. Set up. But 44 right there, gang, just in case you can see it. 44.1. Let's go. So let's start with the uh, uh, Bronco one more time. A couple things you can do to this Bronco to get it to do this, no problem, I know. I'm sure all y'all know that. Too. Oh, okay, let's see if it'll transfer. Okay, no. No, we thought that we could, I was hoping. Um, now I had another um, comment saying I need to go faster with the SCX24 and that's the problem, so we'll go faster. That didn't solve anything. If I just set it up there, let's see, what, it is possible, but the minute I give it a little bit of gas, that weight just transfers back. Let's try it one more time. We know that if we took some stuff off this, this is very back loaded. Yeah, we could get it to go. Tracks is Bronco, super smooth as usual. Gonna hit that back hitch. Let's see if we have some weight transfer to the back. Yep, nowhere nearly collapsing the tire we do on the Defender. Going up, no problem. This is a 44, and I think that the Defender is good to about a 46, if I remember correctly. Uh, it's been kind of a long week, but um, let's check out the Defender one more time. And I don't know if we're going to make it up with the Defender at this point, but... Let's see what we can do. Well, she started. She is tipping quite bad. I didn't realize I needed to make this board a lot bigger. Um, let's see what we can do here. And I think I had it started there for a second. I'm kind of going off that side a little bit. Must be a little bit of weight distribution kind of with this um, Defender. That kind of takes me that way, but I'm not saying it's a victory by any means, but it did kind of go up there. Let me get a little closer. Oh, I'm shaking you. Let me see what we can do here. Not great. It is. It's a little scary. But we got it up there. I'm not sure if I can get it down. I would say at this point, the axial is probably checked out. The Defender ain't going to make another one of these, but we'll take this up to about a 40. Almost a 46. I know I'm doing two at a time. 46 degree incline. We'll see which one can do it. Let's go. I'm going to go ahead and try the Defender first because it's right in front of it. We both know how this is going to end. 46 degrees. Yeah, I don't think it's going to happen. No, it's just transferring everything back. It's a long wheelbase, but uh, not a long wheelbase, but long body. No, it ain't going to do it, gang. No. I'm sure if we went backwards, we'd probably get a little bit more, but I'm not even sure the Bronco is going to get this. Let's give the Bronco a rip. See if we can't uh, max this puppy out. I know that hitch on the back is going to start hitting. Okay. 46. We do have a slight lift in that front left tire. And, and every, so far, all the TRX4Ms have that lift in the front tire. But I do not have the collapse of the rear tire yet on that. So we're going to go ahead and uh, close down this. Uh, and then I'm going to give the axial one more chance to do this but I'm 
we all know that ain't gonna happen, but again, the axial is a different, different size, I know. So, if we, t I know everybody's gonna say take the tire off, the tire's not, that tire's very light. It's, the tire's not doing it. Um, let's see, let's kind of, let's try to max out this um, Bronco, which to be honest with you, the, um, the body just fits better for me on the Bronco than it does for the um, Defender. If I had a kid, or if my kid, I do have kids, if my kid wanted one of these, this is about a 48, guys. Anyhow, if my kids wanted one, I would give them the Bronco just because the body seems to fit better. I've really been fighting the uh, Defender body. I would 100% I would get them the Bronco. Um, it just, the body just fits better on there. I was having a lot of problems with that Defender when I first got it. Let's go here, going up. This is 48. This is not a small feat for anybody. Front tire's up, still not a lot of claps in the rear, and I'm guessing that claps on the rear on the Defender is because of the weight. But uh, I hope that you guys can can hear me and not just hear the hot water tank as my kids are taking showers. Just one more time. So, 48's impressive. Um, I'd like to know what you guys are getting out of these. Um, I'm gonna take it to 49 just to see. I would like to uh, at least get an idea. Okay, that's 49 on the dot. Let's see what we got. With the Bronco at 49. Okay. Whoa. You guys see that front? I don't know if we're going to get 50, but uh, 49 is a victory. Let's try 50 again. We have to, right? We got to max this thing out. We got to know. Fifty on the dot. Fifty degree TRX four M Bronco. Let's go. All right, God, I'd love to get fifty out of this. I don't think it's gonna happen though. All right, the Bronco is finally failing, which we knew eventually we would. Or how about maxed out, not failing? Failing sounds so harsh. Let's give it a little bit of a go. I think one sec. You know. And for everybody who says I need to go fast, let's go fast. And no, it's not gonna work. So anyway, guys, hope you got a little bit out of this. We we got some numbers. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with any of these uh, cars. People are going to put so much brass weights in these that they're all going to do really good once, especially some of these guys on YouTube get a hold of them. Um, anyhow, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please give me a uh, comment, subscribe if you'd like, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Peace.